Hey guys, I'm Jade Ocean and today I'm walking you through a flow to open your hearts up. So to really connect with yourself and find that inner burning light, that love from within. So we're going to really open the heart, open the front body up, but we're going to build a lot of strength too. So balancing the both. We're going to be building back strength, the core, the legs, the glutes, um, opening up the shoulders, the front body, the hip flexors. So it's a lot that we're doing today. Um, you know, we tend to store a lot of negative energy within our bodies from the past. So, or even just worries that are happening right now. So back bends tend to bring that up. It tends to release these areas of um, stress and tension within the body, these restricted areas. So if you feel angry or very emotional through this class, it's okay that happens when you do back bends. Just let it flow, let it release. Know that it's moving out of the body. This is a good thing. What we're doing is making space and room for all this positive healing energy to come in and just grow, to grow more present to grow more full of love for ourselves and for all around us so make sure that you guys have a couple of blocks for the peak pose especially you're going to probably need it um, if you tend to be a little bit more restricted and closed up in the front body so go ahead and grab your blocks and i'll meet you on your mat i hope you enjoy today's class okay guys so we're going to begin in a matsyasana fish pose today to really emphasize opening the heart. So let's go ahead and grab our two blocks. First block's gonna be at the very top of the mat on the flattest setting. This is gonna be for your head to fall back on. And the second block is gonna be just below it. Now you can either lay it flat if you're new to fish pose or if you feel a little tighter and restricted in the chest and the heart area. Um, otherwise you can bring it up just one level. Make sure you have a few inches space between. Let's go ahead and turn around. Make sure you have space between you and the bottom block here. Plant the feet into the earth. Make sure your knees are pointed up here, up nice and tall, find space here in length. Take a deep breath in, side ribs. And then we're gonna begin to firm the navel up and into the spine here. So really activating our core. That way then we can begin to roll back on top of the block. So firm the navel, begin to roll back. You can use your hands to help you come back. And what you want is this block to fall just above the tip of the shoulder blades. So go ahead and adjust yourself if you need to. Let your head fall back onto the top block. If you need to move up, go ahead and move up. So begin to tuck the shoulder blades underneath. Take a deep breath in, find some space within the neck. So pull the shoulders down and soften here. Just bring the arms out to the side, away from the body. Plant the back of the hands into the earth. So open the palms up to the sky. Go ahead and extend your feet just straight out in front of you here. Just breathe. Make sure you have space in the neck. You don't feel crunched up, so maybe moving the head side to side. Again, how can you pull your shoulders down to create that length in the neck here? Allow the heart just to open here. Allow the body to soften into the earth. Feel the earth supporting you. Allow that energy to come into your body. Breathe in through the nose, full inhale. Into the lungs, fill the lungs up and release. Again, inhale. Feel the chest lifting. Again, exhale through the mouth, let it go. Maybe setting your intention for your class today with an intention, allowing yourself to be a little more open for this class, letting go a little bit more of any type of stresses in the body you feel being bent up within. So when we go into these deep back bends and anything that's releasing tension within the front of the body, you'll notice a lot of energy coming up through the body, through the mind. So just allowing it to come up. This is a good thing. And just really staying present, noticing these feelings coming up and trying just to let them go. Not attaching too much to what they mean, what they are. Just letting them pass. Today we're going to release a lot of stress, a lot of tension within 
open the body up for a change, for positive energy to come in, healing energy. Next inhale, let's lift the arms up and begin to bring them up overhead here. Reach through the side body. And exhale, bend at the elbows and bring the arms, just float them down by the side. Again, let's bring them back up. Almost like we're swimming through the sea, so moving with the breath. And exhale, bring it back down, right down to your side. Inhale, float it back up. Reach through the sides, deep stretch, and exhale, float it back down. So we're just really lubricating the shoulder joints here, opening up the shoulder for movement. And release. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Reach nice and long through the fingertips, through the toes here. Let, that, let your chest stretch out. And exhale, release the arms down to the side. Press the elbows into the floor, palms into the floor. Firm the core and begin to roll the body all the way up here. Let's sit up nice and tall. And then reach behind you. And let's just move your blocks off to the side. You can bring it to the front of the mat here. You can just bring it off to the side of the mat. So let's bring the feet together, shift them off to the side. And we're going to sit just on top of our heels here into our Vajrasana pose. So sit up nice and tall. Have your knees about hip distance apart. Inhale, bring your arm up to the sky, reach up nice and tall like we just did. And then exhale, let's bring our arms right behind us, right onto the floor, fingertips onto the floor. Inhale to pull the shoulders behind us and down away from the ears, squeezing the shoulder blades. And exhale, soften the ribs down. On your next inhale, let's maybe begin to press into the mat and lift the hips up as we press the shoulder blades into the heart to really open the heart up. Breathe here. Exhale, bring the hips right back down. Again, lift the hips on your next inhalation. And release. One more time. Inhalation, lift the hips. And exhale, release back down. Okay, let's come right into our bar manasana pose, tabletop pose here. Hands are right underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers, press into the palms. Knees are under the hips. Let's begin to walk the hands all the way out in front of us as far as you can. Draw deep inhalation into the heart, into the ribs. And then on your exhale, begin to melt your heart towards the floor here. All the way down into our puppy pose. So be sure that your hips remain right above your knees. And breathe. And deep shoulder stretch here. And let's press into the hands. Come all the way up and now we're going to shift forward to release the top of the thighs onto the floor and then the elbows just underneath the shoulders here. So adjust yourself if need be. Let's press into the top of the feet. Begin to pull the shoulders back and down away from the ears here. And think of asymmetrically dragging the elbows back. So we're not really dragging them, but just think of really pulling them back here. And that's gonna emphasize that opening in the heart, pulling it forward, really arching the upper back. And then let's press into the hands, press into the forearms. And then let's press into the forearms, begin to lift the hips back again, and press into the hands to lift the arms up. And begin to melt the heart all the way back down to the floor into puppy pose. See if you can come a little bit lower this time. And again, we're gonna lift up, shift forward, thighs rolling all the way down into our sphinx pose. Again, pull the shoulders back. Soften your eyes, soften your gaze. Noticing any tension in the face here. All right, let's come all the way back up again. And then let's walk the hands right back into our tabletop. Spin the triceps back, pull the shoulders down. 
keeping a 90 degree bend in that right leg. We're gonna lift the knee up in line with our glute, keeping your toe pointed. Breathe in here and begin to pull the heart forward and lift the knee up as high as you can here, coming into a cow pose. So lifting the toes up towards the sky and then exhale, round the spine, draw the forehead and the knee in together. So inhale to release and lift, find length here, pulling the heart forward, lifting the knee up, and then drawing it back in, firming the navel up and in. Release to lift, breathing in nice and deep, and then draw it back in, firm the navel. And come back to neutral and then extend that leg straight back behind us so keeping the core nice and firm in release the foot to the floor pivot that left foot out to the side here and then we're going to reach up overhead with the right hand finding space here keeping the core nice and firm and reach the right hand just towards the top of the mat here creating a little bit of an arch in the back so you want to really open the heart up towards the sky keep breathing Think of lifting through that left side body. And let's bring the right hand right back up, reaching towards the sky. This time we're gonna lift the right leg up, bends at the knee, and then reach back and grab onto our right ankle here. Flex the foot, and then begin to press the foot into the hand to really arch back here. So keeping that heel behind the glute, make sure it doesn't rise up to the side here, and breathe. And release the hand, release the foot. Let's come all the way back down to our tabletop. And let's switch sides. So again, hands underneath the shoulders, keeping a 90 degree bend in that left foot. This time we're going to lift it up towards the sky. Make sure your knees in line with your glute. Breathe in, pull the heart forward and lift that knee up as high as you can go here. Remember to asymmetrically drag your hands back to really pull your heart forward. And then exhale, draw the knee into the forehead, forehead into the knee, and lift it away from the floor here. On your inhale, lift, pull the knee back, heart's gonna come forward, and exhale, bring it back in, round the spine. One more time, reach, so this is stretching out the front body and activating the back body here. And then as we bring it in, we're firming the front body, stretching out the back body. And this time we're gonna come back to neutral and then begin to extend that left leg straight back behind us, release it to the floor, pivot onto the right leg here, and then open up to the left side this time. Reach up towards the sky with the left hand, breathe in, and then reach, release the hand behind us, release the hand to reach for the top of the mat here and opening up that shoulder and the heart towards the sky here. Breathe. Let's lift the left hand, lift the left foot up in line with the body, bend at the knee, so bringing the heel to the glute, reach back and grab onto the ankle, flex the foot, and then again, we're going to press into the hand here to really arch the body back here, opening up the heart, opening up the shoulder, stretching out the front hip flexor here. Keep breathing. Find space in the supporting leg and the supporting arm here. Coming back to your intention. And release. Let's come all the way back down to our tabletop. Shake out the hips. Let's curl. This time we're gonna curl the toes under, press into the palms, and lift all the way up into our first Adam Gushvanasana, so our first down dog. And just moving within your body here, stretching out your hamstrings, whatever feels good for you. Maybe walking your dog out, releasing one heel, bending the other knee, switching it out. Just a few times here. And 
can press into the hands and bend at the knees and look between the hands and either step or float forward right into our Uttanasana, forward fold, all the way down. Roll the body all the way up, reach the arms up overhead, bring your hands together, bend at the elbows to begin to reach and arch back here. And then begin to bend the hips to spawn dive all the way down, back to the mat. Lift halfway up into Arda. Pull the heart forward, lift up through the legs, and then release right back down, forward fold. Plant the hands into the mat and step right back into your plank. Roll over top of the toes and drop the hips either into up dog or release all the way down into your seal pose. And then press into the hands, lift the hips right back into Adho Mukha. Lift the right leg straight up to the sky here, bends at the knee, and begin to really lift that knee up to stack the right hip right over top of your left hip. Remember to keep both shoulders level to the floor and only be twisting from our torso. Breathe here. Exhale, shift forward into plank to lift the knee up towards the chest. Inhale, reach right back. Again, shift forward, lift the knee up, and then step the foot to the middle of the hands here into our low lunge. Release the back knee all the way down, uncurl the toes, press into the front foot, and reach the arms all the way up into our low lunge or kapyasana. Reaching back, a little bit of an arch here. Make sure that your front knee is not past your heel. Your toes and your knees are pointed forward. Think of squeezing that back glute here. And bring the hands together, interlace the hands and begin to bring them right behind the head as the elbows extend out to the side. Again, lift the heart up towards the sky here. Allow that energy to run through your body. Let's bring the arms right back up to the sky. And then release the hands all the way down behind you and we're going to clasp the hands behind you and then pull your fist down towards the earth here. Draw the shoulders back and away from your ears. See if you can squeeze the shoulder blades behind you and press them into the heart to lift the heart up a little bit higher. And can you pull your fist away from your thigh here? Breathe. Bringing the hands right back up to the sky. And then place the right hand down behind the back and then reach for the outer edge of the left leg here. Begin to reach back with the left hand towards the right side. So really opening up that left psoas area, the front hip flexor. Breathe. Make sure that front knee is not going over your heel here. And exhale, release the left hand down to the mat. And we're going to reach to open up to the right side. We're twisting low lunge. Release the right hand down. We're going to curl the back toes, lift the back leg up and then press that right leg straight back, coming into our three leg plank, bend at the knee, so 90 degree bend, and then lift the knee up as you curl the heart forward. Exhale, press it to the hands, draw the knee into the chest, forehead towards the knee. And one more time, extend and lift the heart, lift the knee. And exhale, roll it in. Release the legs straight back, press the hips back into our down dog. Shift forward to roll over top of the toes and then drop down right back into our up dog or seal pose. Firm the inner thighs together and exhale right back to down dog again.
bent at the knees. And this time we're gonna lift the left leg straight up into our three leg dog, bend at the knee, draw that right knee up towards the sky. Think of lifting that left hip all the way up above the right hip here. And really pointing that toe towards the front of the mat. And then shift forward, bring the knee into the chest. And again, lift the knee up, extend back, stack the hips. Let's draw the knee right back into the chest here. Lift, 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 and step all the way through between the hands here. Again, let's go ahead and release that back right knee to the floor, uncurl the toes, reach the arms up overhead, coming into our kapyasana, our low lunge, reaching up towards the sky and back. And then again, bring the hands together, interlace the hands, bring them right behind the head here and extend the elbows out to the side. Reach the heart up a little bit higher. And breathe. Think of pulling that right hip forward and that left hip back, really opening up the right psoas. And reach the arms right back up again. This time you're gonna fly them out to the side and right behind you to clasp the hands and pull the fist towards the floor here. Shoulders are gonna come down away from the ears. And then press the shoulder blades into the heart to lift it even higher. Bring the hands right back up. Reach, and then this time we're going to release the left hand down behind the back and reach around to the right side here. Reach the right hand up and over towards the left side. Feel that deep stretch in the right side body, the right psoas. Remember to keep your right glute nice and firm to support the opening in the front of the thigh here. This is gonna prevent dumping in the area and overstretching. Relax. And release the right hand down to the floor here, twisting open to your left side, your low twisting lunge. And release the left hand down. We're gonna curl the right back toes, lift the thigh away from the floor, and then press that left leg straight back into our plank, our three leg plank, bend at the knee. And then begin to lift the knee up towards the sky here. Breathe. And exhale, bring it right into the chest, forehead into the knee. Lift. Inhale, reach again. Heart comes forward, finding space in the arms here, so lifting the body away from the floor. And then exhale, and bring it in. Let's step back and come right into our down dog. Breathe. And shift all the way forward, curl over top of the toes, drop the hips down, either into seal or up dog, pull the shoulders back. Breathe here, squeeze the inner thighs again. And exhale right back to down dog. Lift the heels on an inhale, bend the knees, look forward and either float or you can step to the top of your mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it all the way down. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, bring your hands to prayer, right to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And forward fold all the way down. Halfway lift, Arda. Find space here. And exhale, press into the mat. Step all the way back here. Right into your plank. Flip over top of the toes. We're gonna drop the hips to up dog or seal. 
whatever your body is looking for today. And exhale right to our down dog. This time let's lift that right leg straight up to the sky, bend at the knee. And shift forward. We're gonna step all the way through to the top of the mat here. Into our low lunge. Breathe here. And then press into the front foot. Reach all the way up to the sky into our low lunge, our Anjaniyasana. Lifting up, reaching the arms back here. Keep that left thigh pressing away from the floor here. Energize through that foot. Make sure that front knee is not going over top of the heel here. And then reach your arms straight behind you. Again, we're gonna interlace the hands behind us and then pull the fist down towards the floor. Try to pull your fist away from your body here. Breathe. And exhale. And exhale, release the fist, reach right back up. Bring your hands right back to the floor. And press that right foot straight back into a 90 degree. So three leg plank here. And then we're gonna roll to the outside of the left foot, release the right foot to the floor, reach the right arm up to the sky, and then begin to reach behind us here as we press into the left hand into our wild thing. Breathe. And then very carefully lift the right arm and let's reverse it. We're gonna come back to our three leg plank. We'll lift that knee up, pull the heart forward. Exhale, roll it in. Inhale, reach the heart forward, lift the knee up. And exhale, roll it in. Step right back into our plank. Press into the hands, lift the hips right back into our down dog. Breathe. This time, let's lift the left leg straight into our three leg down dog. Bend at the knee here. Begin to shift all the way forward to step through to the middle of the hands. Press into that front foot and begin to reach the arms up towards the sky into our Anjani Asana. Reach the arms back here. And then to release the hands behind us, clasp the hands, begin to pull that fist towards the floor as we pull the shoulders back. Reach the heart up. Keep energizing that right leg straight back. Pull that left hip back as you push the right hip forward. Again, see if you can pull your fist away from your body here. Breathe. Stay balanced. And then bring the arms right back up. Release them right back down to the mat. We're going to press that left foot straight back into a three-leg plank. Bends at the knee. Lift the knee up towards the sky. Pull the heart forward. And exhale. Roll it in. Knee into chest. Forehead to knee. Inhale, extend, lift, and then again. Bring it in, find your core here. Bring it back out, roll over top of the right foot and then release the left foot to the floor. We're gonna press into the right hand to lift up, reaching towards the back of the mat here with the left hand, right into our wild thing. Breathe, think of lifting the left hip. Think of lifting the hips up away from the floor. And exhale, release the left foot, rewind it. Knee's gonna stay bent. And then release the foot, press into the hands, lift the hips right back into your up dog. Right back into your down dog. Shift forward into plank, roll over top of the toes, and then we're gonna roll all the way down to the mat. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Bring the hands down to the hands away from the floor here. We're gonna to begin to inhale as we roll the heart up and then pull the hands down towards the feet. Draw the shoulders away from the ears here. 
and begin to lift the feet away from the floor. So squeezing the inner thighs, think of pulling the tailbone down towards the back of the feet here. Lift and reach, see if you can reach towards the feet a little bit longer as you energize through the toes. This is our Shalabhasana pose. And exhale, release. Bring the hands And then right back up to our down dog. Let's bend at the knees, lower the hips, look forward and either float or you can step all the way forward. Forward, forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And then this time we're going to sink the hips back and then bring the hands right out, either in front of us or above our head here into our, into our Utkatasana pose, our chair pose. And think of pulling the tailbone down, firming the core up and in, and keep the knees behind the toes here. Let's bring the hands down to the side here, clasp them behind the back, and then again, we're gonna pull the fist towards the floor, roll the shoulders down, stay here, see if you can go a little bit lower. I know this is a very hard pose, but really keep your core firm here. See if you can pull your fist away from your body, breathe. And exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs and let your fists just come up towards the sky. If you feel a little bit more open, maybe you can bring your fist towards the front of the mat here. And release the hands down. Step all the way back here. Into our plank pose. Shift forward, roll over top of the toes, drop the hips down into our up dog, and then right back into our down dog. To our three leg dog, lift the right leg up, bend at the knee, and shift forward into your plank, keeping your knee lifted, toes pointed up towards the sky here. Stay here, and roll the spine up towards the sky. Go ahead and step all the way through to the middle of the hands here. Bring your hands all the way up, coming into our Anjani Asana again, so our lunge. Bring the hands to the side and then clasp the hands once again, creating a fist. Pull the fist down away from the head here. Let's begin to hinge forward, pressing into that front foot, getting light on the back feet, and then lift the back foot all the way up, coming into our Vera three. Think of lifting through that right leg, energizing back through that left foot, pulling the fist down towards the back foot here. Shoulders are coming away from the head. Breathe here. Then begin to bring, and begin to, and let's, Let's bring the body upright as we stay balanced here. Bring the knee all the way up into the chest. Release the arms to grab right onto the knee and pull the knee into the body here. Giving yourself a little hug. Bend in the knee. This time we're going to release the knee down alongside the other leg, the heels in towards the glute. We're gonna reach that left hand back to grab onto the ankle. You can walk the hand to the inside of the foot here. So you're grabbing the inside of the ankle and then go ahead and flex the foot. This time we're gonna to begin to hinge forward very slowly as we reach the right arm forward. We're gonna press the foot into the hand here and begin to come into our dancer's pose. Now this may be fine right here or you can begin to lift the foot up towards the sky. Coming in for a little back bend, stay balanced here. Lift and reach. And pulling your heart forward. And then bring yourself right back down. Release the foot to the floor. Bring the arm right up overhead as you step back into your lunge. And then the arm's gonna come right back down to the floor, press into the floor. Bring the right foot straight back into your three-leg plank. Bend in the knee, lift that leg up towards the sky here. 
bring the heart forward, roll the spine all the way up as you bring knee into forehead. Release the foot straight back to come right into your down dog. Breathe. Let's lift that left leg straight up to the sky here and then bend the knee. Begin to shift forward into your plank, but keep that knee lifted. Bring the knee all the way into the chest here. Your foot between the hands. Bring your hands all the way up, coming into your Anjaniyasana. And release your hands again behind your back. Clasp them and pull the fist down towards the sky. And pull your fist down towards the floor. Remember to sink a little bit lower. See if you can pull that left hip back. Push the right hip forward. Maybe you can bring that fist away from your body here. Really opening your heart. Allow yourself to be strong here, to be vulnerable, to change, to be open. And then we're gonna begin to hinge forward here, press into the front foot and lift the back toes very slowly up away from the floor, coming into our Vera three. Make sure you keep that, make sure you keep that right hip towards, make sure you keep that right hip level to the floor here and spin the inner thigh back here. Reach that fist towards the back feet. Stay strong here, breathe. And then staying balanced, we're gonna bring that knee all the way in as we bring the body up. Release the hands, go ahead and grab onto the knee and bring it in towards your chest, a little break. <sighs> Take a breath. Okay, and then same thing as we did before. We're gonna keep a bend in this leg, release the knee down, arms are gonna come to the side. We're gonna reach back to grab onto the ankle of the right foot, flex the toes. You can walk the hand to the inside here. Your left hand forward as you begin to press that foot right into your hand. Maybe you begin to lift the foot and the hand up towards the sky. Stay balanced. Coming into your dancer's pose. Breathe. Go ahead and release. Find your balance. Bring your hands up as you step right back into your lunge. Release your hands right to the floor and then press back into your three leg plank. Bend the knee, lift the knee up. And then draw all the way into the chest. Roll the spine up to the sky. Release the foot back and press right back into your down dog. Breathe here. Catch your breath. Noticing your heart beating strong right now. Draw and draw. Noticing your heart beating strong right now. Draw an inhalation deeply into the side body. Fill up the lungs and release. Let's bring the knees to the floor. And right back into our Vajrasana pose again here, just like we started. So knees are gonna be hip distance apart. Let's take a deep breath, pull the heart forward, very subtle lift of the heart. Drop the shoulders down, close the eyes. Oops. Bringing the heart rate down, refocusing on the breath. the breath to roll the spine back here. Just a little subtle cat-cow here. Draw the breath in, roll the heart forward. And again, release. Firm the core. Roll the spine, stretch out the back, release the shoulders down. Let's come right back to neutral. Let's walk the hands just out in front of us for one time in our Balasana pose here, just for a quick rest. Release to the earth. Allow everything to be soft here, so completely surrender. Let's take one deep breath in together. And exhale. Come right back up, right back up here. So we're gonna come into our Ustrasana pose. 
So if you're going to be using blocks for Ustrasana, what I'd like you to do is grab your blocks and place them on the side of your hips. You can place them on the tall setting just right outside of the hips along where your heels are, okay? Um, I'm not going to use blocks. If you're not using blocks, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either do it um, with your feet flat like they are with me right now, or you can roll your toes under. So rolling the toes under is going to elevate your heels up a little bit more, it's just so you have less room to go back, okay? Find whatever way is going to work for you. Let's come all the way up to a kneeling position. What we want to think of is pressing down into our knees or if you're flat onto your shins and then lifting up through the front body here. We're going to lift up from the quads, opening up the psoas area, the front of the hips, lifting up through the torso. Think of the back lifting as well. And then the shoulder blades are going to press the heart up towards the sky. So we're going to roll the shoulders back, let the arms fall behind us, lift the heart up. So think of lifting up. We're going to firm the tailbone down to really open up the psoas here. Keep squeezing the inner thighs in lift up 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 and think of rotating the upper back up and over like there's a pole that we're going over here so we're going to lift up and back squeeze the shoulder blades together release the arms down behind you onto your blocks here if you're not using blocks you're going to begin to roll 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 all the way back until you can feel for your heels find your heels and then press the shoulders all the way back into the back here you're going to lift the hips all the way up. Keep finding space in the spine here. So keep lifting up through the spine. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release the head all the way back into your Ustrasana pose. Breathe. breaths here. Stay centered, stay focused. On your next inhale, let's come all the way up. Very slowly, bring the head up and then exhale, release the hips all the way down. Back to a kneeling position. Bring your hands right onto your thighs and just breathe. Just noticing the sensations again within the body, within the mind back bends, especially Ustrasana, are poses that really release a lot of tension and emotions within the body. They go really deep into these areas that store these past thoughts, these past feelings. And so when we go into these poses, it's wonderful because it does release it. However, it could be a little intimidating knowing that you know, we're going to feel these emotions. The difference is we're not necessarily attached to them this time allow them to pass and release and know that what we're doing is making space for new positive healing energy to come in. So take a deep breath, just honor where you are, just show a little gratitude for your body releasing these, these stresses held within. Let's inhale, bring the arms right up overhead and then exhale, release to the floor. Let's come for one balasana one more time. Release the forehead to the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Deep inhalation into the back of the heart. And let's go ahead and come all the way up here. And let's go ahead and come into a seated pose here. So let's extend our feet out in front of us. Let's bend at the right knee, bring the bottom of the right foot to the inner left thigh here, flex up the left foot. Let's bring the arms just up overhead, take a deep full breath into the body, twist from the torso towards that left foot, and then just begin to release down towards that left foot. So be very careful as you come down, don't force anything. We just got done doing a lot of back bending. Just breathe into the back of the heart here. And 
exhale let your body just go here I just got done doing a lot of strengthening in the back body a lot of opening in the front body so we're just stretching out the back body allowing the front of your body to just relax here On your exhale, just see if you can release and surrender a little bit closer towards that left shin. Just allow your body to just be here. Just relax. Stretch out the lower back. Shoulders can release. Let's take one more breath in. And begin to release the foot all the way up. And then we're just going to switch it out so let's extend the right foot this time bring the left bottom of the foot to the inner right leg left knees are going to fall out to the side here bring your hands just up overhead deep breath in and then let's bring your hands just bring your hands just up overhead here and then twist towards that right foot, flex the toes in, and again, we're just gonna release towards that right leg. Noticing any tension being held within the face right now, just letting everything go. Very gentle with yourself. Mm, let's go ahead and come right back up. And let's come into an easy seated pose. So Sukhasana. Let's just close out with a couple of breaths here. So let's extend the arms out to the side, right up overhead. Bring your hands together right into prayer and bring your hands right to your heart. Again, bring the hands out to the side and right up to the sky. Draw them together and bring your hands right to your heart. Thumbs to touch your heart. Just drop your chin. Namaste. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again.